Hi, I'm Mike Owner of the In Group in Phoenix, Arizona. Tending to do a new arrivals video. This is for September 18th, 2020. And thus far, this is the biggest amount of new releases I have to show you guys yet. It's been a absolutely insane week and it's get, gonna get crazier. We've got record store day stuff coming at the end of this week. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do unboxing videos. I'm gonna start populating those unboxing videos this weekend. And hopefully at the beginning of the week, I have like a massive uh, video of everything that is coming out for the second drop RSD, the September drop. So uh, a lot of audiophile reissues, restocks, and also a lot of really cool key titles for this uh, particular week. And I'm going to start with this super indie exclusive. I think there was 3,000 of these. This is the Black Crows Crowology. This is on gold vinyl. I thought I saw somewhere that there is 3,000 of these available. Don't forget, guys, all this stuff can be purchased online at our website at www.theingroove.com. I showed this, uh, or I mentioned this in the title yesterday, or last week, the new Marilyn Manson. This is the indie exclusive. I think there's like a uh, post, let's see, what's it say? A 24 by 24 poster plus uh, three postcards. I mentioned this last week in the video description, but I didn't actually show it. So yeah, the new Marilyn Manson record. The new Charlie XCX. All right. The Heathen. Now this is red and black swirl vinyl limited to 1200. Fene Lily Breach Opaque Yellow Vinyl. I believe this is the Indie Store exclusive. Joyce Manor. Not really familiar with that. Songs from the Northern. Torrance. Okay, John Coltrane, Giant Steps. So this is actually a double Yes. So... Side one and two, disc one is going to be the normal giant steps in stereo. Side two, or disc two, excuse me, is outtakes. So you're essentially getting a deluxe version on vinyl. Booklet with liner notes, photos, some information on there. So yeah, the 60th anniversary edition of John Coltrane's Giant Steps. No word on if it's analog or digital. Pretty hot title. This is David Bowie's Young Americans. This is a limited edition on gold vinyl. 45th anniversary edition. Textured sleeve. This is a pretty hot release. The Weekend After Hours. I believe, yeah, this is the splatter wax. Or excuse me, this is like a clear wax with a red splatter to it. Really hot album. Probably the hottest new release in a while. Run the Jewels 4. This is the indie exclusive, which I have very few of these. And from my understanding, these indie store exclusives were shipped once and they're now out of print. So very little of these remain. And then I probably next week we're going to have the black vinyl. But this is, let's see, clear with magenta vinyl. There was a double disc or maybe a box set version of that, but we sold out of them in uh, pre-order. So if you didn't pre-order it, you didn't get it. All right, my absolute favorite title this week. I am going to go home, and this is the absolute very first thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to play this Nick Mason Saucer Full of Secrets. I mentioned to you guys on the channel, I saw this show live. It was one of the all-time greatest shows I've ever seen. They did a... 12-inch single of this for record store day, but this just this was a killer record. You know, if you guys are familiar with early Pink Floyd, early Pink Floyd wasn't recorded that well. This was recorded that well. You know, this is a solid, you know, I've seen clips of it online. I was at these shows, or I was at the show, you know, from this tour, and it, it was absolutely fantastic. You know, when you hear that early Pink Floyd but not, you know, with a muddled mix of the originals and you hear it in all the tie-fi glory. Man, it's unbelievable. I wish 
I knew how good that show was going to be. I would have saw a couple of shows. I would have traveled maybe to LA and seen a show or two extra. But this was an amazing concert. I don't think, you know, this had, uh, so Nick Mason, but it had, uh, you know, a lot of the Pink, or the David Gilmore and Roger Waters touring musicians, Guy Pratt, I mean. So these are guys who have been doing Floyd stuff for two, three decades. I don't know if Roger Waters and David Gilmore were to get together and do any of these songs, it could be this good. I mean, this was fantastic. I strongly recommend that record. Okay, so Fleetwood Mac, then play on. This is a deluxe album, 16 book pack, 16 page book pack includes. So you get expanded track list, bonus tracks, it's half speed master, you know, super, super duper deluxe box. This is another title I was looking forward to this week. This is a reimagined version of T for the Tillerman. So I'm guessing essentially he just went back and re-recorded it, put a little new spin on it, but his best album by a large, large margin and one of the great 70s albums. Music to be murdered by Eminem. This has been pretty heavily bootlegged, but now it is officially released on vinyl. Okay, back in stock from the top 10 analog jazz records in print that you should own. Impex, Friday Nights in San Francisco. This is the 45 RPM version. They only did 3,000 of these. According to this, we're already into the upper 2000s. I don't foresee this being in print much longer. This is an absolute amazing record. From ORG, Taj Mahal, another fantastic sounding record. This was, these are numbered. I'm not sure how many they did. Normally these ORG titles are like in the 2500 range, but I'm not 100% sure. But a really solid title. Very few pretenders, self-titled, MoFi's in stock, not many, but I got a couple. Diana Krall, Live in Paris from ORG. Now, this is a interesting, her catalog is weird. So you've got these killer ORG titles, which are all analog, they're in print, they're 55 bucks, and then they actually have some cheapy digital versions in print that cost less. I wish more, more artists' catalog were released in this fashion. You know, they can charge more, do a better product. But yeah, mastered by Bernie Grunman from the original Analog Master Tapes, pressed on 45 RPM vinyl. This is live in Paris, and there was another title out here, but right before I uh, started filming this video, somebody bought it. But yeah, check out the Diana Krall ORG titles that are available. They are fantastic. What is this? Manson Air? Shadowbox? 20th anniversary, Nico Case and her boyfriends on turquoise vinyl. I don't think I showed any of this stuff last week. Betty Davis, Miles Davis's wife for a few years. Super, super funky, really erotically charged R&B, fantastic. Slayer, live at the forum. This is numbered or limited to 1200 on red swirl vinyl. Okay, music on vinyl, Ringo Starr, time takes time, only 1,500 of these on yellow and green vinyl, 1,500 of anything that is numbered that is Beatles related is extremely limited. I have multiple, multiple, multiple collectors of Beatles stuff that come in, they got to have everything Beatles, they don't even have record players. This stuff is always desirable. Selena Ones. Extremely popular in Arizona. Very hard to get anything of hers on vinyl, but it is back in print. Uh, I can never keep it in stock, but yeah, back in print. Gus Dapperton, Orca. These are all new arrivals, so. A lot of stuff to show you guys. The All-American Rejects. This is all just stuff that's new this week. A reissue of Demon Fuzz, number to 1500 on orange colored vinyl. 
it's similar to the last drop. It seems like they dropped a huge amount of new arrivals a couple of weeks before record store day, and it seems like that's kind of the case this week. The Mavericks and Espanol. Really solid looking cover there. Okay, so the John Prine reissues. It doesn't say anywhere on these that these are analog, but I really feel like these ought to be. So they just did these exact albums, Sweet Revenge, Common Sense, Diamonds in the Rough, and the self-titled. They just did all of these for Record Store Day. It came in that box set that's going for upwards of 200 bucks the last time I looked. It doesn't say anywhere on the brag sticker here that these are cut from the analog tapes, but I would almost be positive that they would be, being that they just cut lacquers from analog tape for these exact four albums. But yeah, $21.99, all of those more than likely are analog. I'd be really shocked if they weren't, but it, you know, in honesty, it wouldn't surprise me. Labels are known to do stupid stuff, so that would be pretty stupid. Cut it in analog, release it for record store day, and then for some reason recut it, pay a bunch of money, and make it digital. I doubt it, but you never know. I don't think this has been reprinted in a long, long time. Yeah, first time in 37 years, the very first Doors Greatest Hits, 13. And this was actually my very first cassette tape that I ever owned, was this album. Yeah, and I remember People Are Strange at the time, when I was maybe 10 or 11 years old, was my favorite song on the record, or the cassette, but that would not be the case anymore, although it's good. Ace Freely, brand new 2020 Hindsight from Ace Freely. This is a double disc on colored vinyl for you KISS collectors. All right, Dead or Alive, You Spin Me Round, 500 on red vinyl, free poster. So, I still have some more of these. These were super popular last week. Nirvana, you've got red and black marble vinyl, and you actually have blue and black marble vinyl. This is cut from a new remaster from what I heard. It sounded really good. I heard it in the store. One of my employees brought it in, and it's a real solid mastering. It's, from what I read online, it's a pretty desirable recut of that album. Back in stock, Art Blakey, Indestructible. This is from the top 10 jazz albums that are in print that you should own, Analog. Definitely a fantastic album. Okay, so the rest of this stuff is all Speaker's Corner reissues. I've got a ton of Speaker's Corner uh, restocks. It's been really hard getting stuff out of Germany, but uh, yeah, finally this order has come in. Every one of these records is Analog. Speaker's Corner only cuts from Analog tape. Joe Beam, Stoneflower, Carly Simon, No Secrets, fantastic sounding record. The self-titled Boz Skaggs. Santana, Amigos. Some of these albums I'm going to show you guys are actually restocks from my top 10 best analog records you should own. Hubert Laws, Afro Classic. Earth, Wind, and Fire, Spirit. Tommy Bolin, Private Eyes. Nilsson Sings Newman. Willie Nelson, Yesterday's Wine. So they're, you know, for the most part, Speaker's Corner does a fantastic job. Their covers are a little on the cheap side, but unbelievable album right here. Herbie Mann at the Village Gate. Fantastic record. Brother Jack McDuff, Tobacco Road. But if you see anything here that interests you and you want to get a really good sound, I mean, I'll, you could really take a gamble with any of these and you're going to be pretty happy. Nina Simone. Another Nilsson. Ariel Ballet. Elvis's Golden Records. Chet Atkins in Hollywood, one of the greatest covers, I think, of all time. 
This is a really good record as well. Really fantastic sounding. Dr. John, Gris Gris. A Date with Elvis. Oscar Peterson, The Lost Tapes. This is a fantastic reissue. Elvis Presley, The Christmas Album. Again, these Christmas albums you want to get now, they do not, you cannot find these in a couple months. September, October is when you want to be buying your Christmas albums. And that is maybe the greatest Christmas album of all time. My favorite maybe, but top three at the very minimum. His Hand and Mine, Elvis' gospel album, one of them. Harry Mancini, Breakfast at Tiffany's. Paul Desmond, Easy Living. Mingus, Tijuana Moods. Wild Bill Davis. Nina Simone, Sings the Blues. Elvis's Golden Records, Volume 4. ORG actually does a really good version of uh, Volume 3. That's actually pretty good. Ry Cooter. Paradise Lunch. Aretha Franklin, Unforgettable. Aretha with the Ray Bryant Trio. Fantastic movie, The Graduate. All right, weather report live in Tokyo. Oh, this is a fantastic album. Gil Evans. Gil Evans, if you're not familiar, you know, if you're a rock guy, you're not familiar with jazz. Famous jazz composer, band leader, Gil Evans, arranges Jimi Hendrix. You know, this is essentially him doing interpretations of a, you know, Jimi Hendrix tunes. Fantastic. Good crossover record if you're not a jazz fan. Herbie Hancock, Flood. Uh, this was reissued recently for Record Store Day. This is a Japanese-only Herbie Hancock release. For years, that was the only way to get it. They did a digital reissue of this for Record Store Day, but this is the analog reissue. Carla Thomas, The Queen Alone. Herbie Hancock, Crossings, fantastic title. Milt Jackson, Ballads and Blues. Laverne Baker sings Bessie Smith. The Doobie Brothers. The Captain and Me. Little Feet, Time Loves a Hero. Ry Cooter, Jazz. And the Doobie Brothers, Minute by Minute. Okay, one of the absolute best sounding Speakers Corner records of all time. In print and on my list of the top 10 analog in print jazz records you should own. It's amazing how much bass is on this 133 RPM record. You typically never find it on this amount of bass on vinyl, period, let alone on a 33. But Lou Reed Transformer, this is an absolute must have record. Fantastic musically and sonically, it is unbelievably good. Same goes for Al Green's Call Me. This is a top 10 analog in print RB soul record. You should own. Back in stock. Alan Parsons. The Turn of a Friendly Card. Al DeMoya. Another Al. Casino. The Genius After Hours. Ray Charles. Ray Charles again, Fathead. Fantastic, fantastic album. Swiss Movement. It's got compared to what on it, right? Actually, uh, from my one of my favorite movies, actually my favorite movie, Casino, on the soundtrack. Already showed that one. Let's see, Elvin Jones. 
Midnight Walk. Donny Hathaway, everything is everything. Piles of good stuff this week. Freddie Hubbard, Backlash. Good record. Mingus. Charles Lloyd, The Flowering. Good record, good record. Another Mingus. Anibus. What do we got here? Johnny and Edgar Winter, together. All right, Alan Parsons, Eye in the Sky. Really good sounding record. Actually, I listened to this a couple, two, three days ago. You know, good sounding record. Most of these are really, really good. I, you know, out of this lot, from what I've heard, stuff is fantastic. Warren Zevon, Stand in the Fire. Delaney, to Bonnie from Delaney. Monk, Big Band and Quartet. Birds of Fire. Killer sounding record. One of my favorite in print speakers corner releases. Patty Smith Horace, Horses. The original Arista. Everyone I've ever had is relatively noisy. This is a fantastic album. Originals of this are going for 50, 60 bucks. This sounds better. And it is a fantastic record. Same thing with this, actually. This Johnny Cash, Orange Blossom Special, is quite good. Miles Davis, Round About Midnight. Ooh, another really, really good title. Dr. John, The Night Tripper. Almost next to impossible to find on vinyl. Here is Phineas. Ah, some Bra Brazilian jazz. Charlie Bird. Another Miles. Miles smiles. See him smiling? He smiles. That's why it's called Miles Smiles, because he's smiling. Santana. Some more Santana. Freddie Hubbard and Stanley Turrentine in concert with Herbie Hancock. Erto, free. Blue Oyster Cult. Super Sessions. Classic record. Monto Santa Maria. Stole, Stone Soul. Johnny Winter. Self titled. Janice Joplin. I got them old cosmic blues. Again, Mama. Another Santana tie. They did a lot of good Santana. Welcome. Weather report. Again, guys, I mean, if you're not a familiar with Speaker's Corner as a label, grab one of these you like and give it a try. Santana. What the hell is this? Maggie and Tara Roach. Not familiar with this. No clue. Earth, Wind, and Fire. That's the way of the world. Great album. Wayne Shorter, another fantastic album. Elvis is back. All right, two of a kind. Paul Desmond and Gary Mulligan. Okay, let's see. This is a reissue. Nice HMV. Classical title. Kind of where Speaker's Corner got their start was doing classical reissues. Donovan, Wear Your Love Like Heaven. Another from my top 10 in print analog R&B and blues records you should own, and Peebles. 
straight from the heart. Be careful when you get this one on the website. This title is $34.99. There is another version of it that is $17.99 that is not any good. Don't buy that one. Nina Simone in concert, Emergency Ward. All right, guys, a massive amount of stuff to choose from this week. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and pay attention. This weekend, we've got a lot of the Record Store Day unboxings coming up. Until next time.